Joining me is LSU running back Darius Geis. Over 160 on the ground, most of that coming in the second half. What For you, what was the biggest difference between the first and second half? What changes were made? Well, in the first half, you know, I, I, we were being more patient on the ground, you know, letting blocks set up. And eventually after halftime, they started opening up for us in a big way and breaking big runs. Uh, it's just the way you set up the blocks is, is, you know, how the play develops in the end. And just the way we were being patient and just letting everything set up, open up big holes for us. So it's, it's the little things that count first. Like you got to you got to you got to see little to see big. So that's just how everything's set up in the end for us. Offensive line wise, you know, they had some changes again this week, kind of settled in. How did they uh, how, how did they do in your opinion? And, and what what was the biggest difference this in the second half of that line? Um, well, they were giving us some looks that we haven't seen. So we had to adjust to that. And it took us, you know, a little longer than normal. But the, uh, the linemen did a, a great job, as always, of, you know, setting up uh, great holes for us and just making sure that we don't have to worry about any defenders. And, you know, they can't always take all of them. So, you know, as a running back or a receiver, you got you to gotta learn how to, you know, make guys miss on your own when you're one-on-ones. But uh, other than that, just, just getting to the point of attack and the line of scrimmage, the, the linemen did a great job taking care of that for us. We talked to Malachi a little bit earlier. And he he said, uh, man, he saw you doing your thing, and we need to throw it a little bit. <laughs> and and, and, and uh, this was a different LSU offense because in the past when you guys would get a lead, you'd sit on it. This time around, you guys put the pedal to the metal and threw the ball. Well, it happens like that whenever you run a ball a lot and then it set up great play, play actions because everybody expecting us to run. So after that, we did play actions. And, you know, you know, you had Malachi, you had DJ, you, know, you had Deshaun on a few of them, you know, it, just us running the ball set up a lot of good passes for us. And, you know, even off that play action, it sets up great runs for us as well and vice versa. So it can go both ways with it, actually. And, you know, the receivers stepped it up. Uh, they were where they're supposed to be. Danny Edlin put the ball where he was supposed to put it. And everybody just did what everybody should have done in the first half. What's, what, does Leonard say anything over there? We see him on the, in the sweats on the sidelines. You know, what is he saying to you? Does he give you any device or advice or just encouragement? Oh, he give us a lot on the sideline, <laughs> whether it's bad or good. Uh, at halftime, you know, he, he really got all in our face telling us, you know, we were playing like crap in the first half. We need to pick it up. Uh, the running backs are uh, one of the most important leaders on the team because either you either you touch the ball or you block it. So you just got to be prepared for everything. He was telling us to step it up. You got to be a leader out there. And, you know, he of course he wasn't happy with our performance in the first half. But, you know, we picked it up and, you know, put a smile on his face the second half. Honestly, you can tell me, I mean, after a big night like tonight, you've had a couple already. I mean, do you go over there and say, hey, man, just take a few more weeks off. It's okay. I got it. Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm actually ready to have Leonard back. <laughs> you know, it's been too long, and, you know, I feel like it's, it's a lot more he can teach me, you know, before, it's, before the season over. So I'm just ready to learn more. Congrats on the big game. Thank you, sir. All right, let's go back to Louisiana Cat Studios.